This presentation is on angles and the measurement of angles and angle relationships. The definition of angle is two rays joined by a common endpoint called a vertex. And on the rays you may find different points labeled and with those labels you can name your angles. So this angle can be named angle ABC or simply by its vertex angle B. Degree is the unit of measurement for measuring angles. The symbol for degree is the little circle. M and the angle symbol DEF would be read as the measure of angle DEF, and that is equal to 75 degrees for this angle. That can also be written as the measure, measure of angle E, which again is still 75 degrees. What tools are used to measure angles? In school, you'll most commonly use your protractor, and you might be able to use an angle ruler as well. How to measure an angle, and these directions are for the protractor. You find the center hole or intersecting line on the straight edge of the protractor. Place the hole over the vertex of the angle you wish to measure. Line up the zero on the straight edge of the protractor with the one of the sides of the angle. Find the point where the second side of the angle intersects the curved edge of the protractor. You may need to extend the line so you can read exactly where it is. And you will read the number that is written on the protractor at the point of intersection. This is the measure of the angle in degrees. The types of angles least that we're covering in school are acute, right, obtuse, and straight. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. And these are some examples of acute angles. Note the mnemonic in the word acute to help you remember what the acute angle looks like. Right angle is an angle that is equal to 90 degrees. And the little square in the vertex of the angle is showing you that that is a perpendicular um, lines that make the 90 degree angle. And again, some examples of 90 degree angles. Obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Your straight angle is an angle that is exactly equal to 180 degrees. To estimate angle measures, you can use certain reference points, reference points 0, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135, and 180. If you take a piece of paper and fold it in half and then half again, you will get 45, 90, 135, and then your straight 180 as reference points. Here's some examples of real angles.